check it out. I want to see. We don't need to learn any instruments. It's okay. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon.
that now. Message for me, get off your fat ass. I see this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Oh, easy. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. Mm. Well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey, I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Huh. Whoa! Okay, ma'am boobs, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Although that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? I'm not angry! I'm exercising! How's that prostate holding up? Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. That space is yours! Own it! Call the exercise, you lazy idiots! Oh, hello there. How are you doing today? I can't tell if you're loving this or hating it! Too early! Classic schoolboy error! You broke my cadence, you fucking moron! This must be so emasculating for you! You make me feel well-adjusted! Okay, here we go! Lap push! Come on! Flick the switch, Marianne! Let's go lactic! I thought I had issues, but you? You give me hope! I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit! Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy! Hey, you want to have a, like, Karen. contest? The men all crowded around the set. He still thinks he's a quarterback! Okay, ma'am boobs, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. I can't believe you're cheating already. Stay on the path. God damn. I love your car. Excuse me you can for run what? around them, you know. Hey, what's going on, brother? Run on the road. Take that traffic head on. Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. That space is yours. Own it. Screw you, I'm running here! You idiot! The failed shot! This is me? so tragic! I didn't mean anything, really. Do I have a minute to talk I about can't tell if you're loving you? this or hating it! But you? You give me hope! I own you! My shrink's office uh, is right near here oh. if you want to work through some of that shit! Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy! I need a minute. How are you? I am just, like, in a total state of mind. It's been nice. Oh, sorry about the Neanderthal! No.
Look out! Ugly asshole. Someone's on the rack. No autographs, honey. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family, uh, my son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance. Or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, th I, th I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay.
Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute, I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes, that fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back on social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something, just like the old days.
Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Look at him. He can untangle a box of wires, but he gets confused around the people. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so... Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been at it on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, 
See what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Wow. Your job is actually kind of stressful too, ain't it? Hmm. Ugh, I need to write some product, Brohim. I'm feeling the itch. My son probably wrote this. That little shitbag. Ah, won't run with the pop-ups up. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? These hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> Scanning. This place is fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> and that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You should be a meme. This is the future of American economy? Jay thinks being a quirky douche boop. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow. Come on. You're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it! Hold on, I'll buzz you out. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Doomed! I doomed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem, you don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me, I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk.
out. No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Uh, fucking tits. Get him. Fame or Shame, the final. Now, please welcome your host, Laszlo. Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked in at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to oh, Hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Hello? Oh! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no, no. Whoa! Last, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look.
Forgive me! Hello there. Have a seat. Do you know how you want it done? This is some of my best work yet, <laughs> I think. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, um, I'm calling about the trial membership deal thing.
Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought, maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, 
When I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Uh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. 